Yeah, you know, I had a pretty good feeling they would. Uh, you know, we got a veteran crew, and they, they do know how to make adjustments and been around long enough um, to kind of get a feel for what the other team was doing against us. But we got some, a lot of big hits today. I think Seeger's double in the first was huge. Kind of everybody relaxed a little bit, and then Seth Smith really stepped up, had a huge day for us. Nelly swung the bag good, and really up and down the lineup. It was uh, really, really solid today. And, you know, our starter <laughs> goes seven innings and heck of an outing. Uh, Miranda's on a nice little roll, and then we certainly have needed it. Um, he's just gained so much confidence. Uh, it's nice to see. And, uh, Zinio's doing a nice job with him as well. So, um, good ball game. Uh, we needed a, a win. The last couple of days got away from us and then get back on the right track again. What do you like more from Miranda's line? Uh, the fact that he was getting ahead and he only had one walk or the eight strikeouts? Uh, I think the, the getting ahead leads to the strikeouts, and there's no doubt. I think he's just very aggressive. He's just challenging him. And he's got some deception. You know, the ball's got some life up in the zone. You know, he is a fly ball pitcher. You saw a few of them go to the warning track today. You know, luckily, they stayed in here. Uh, that, that's just who he is, and, and uh, the change up off of that is, has been very effective for him. But like I said, just attacking the zone, going right after him, and getting him in swing mode has been key for him. On, on the two at bats that, that Seth hit the home runs off Doug, it was both three ones. It looked like both fastball, but that, is that kind of the tendency on Doug when he gets behind, especially that he, he comes in with that fastball? Well, I mean, most pitchers do at some point have to when you got you know you know the guys hitting behind him uh, coming behind. You don't want to you know just give up the free base or the walk. Um, I think they were both like cutters. Smitty hadn't had a lot of success against Fister. I think he was 0 for 10 coming into the day, but he's been swinging the bat really good. More importantly, he knows how to work in at bat. Very professional approach, and you're not always going to hit a home home run on a 3-1 fastball. But you know he's in a good spot right now. He's seeing the ball good and not trying to do too much. Just put a good swing on it and. Uh, really key, being able to slow it down. Ioki's done it. Smitty's been doing it. You know, a lot of our guys did a better job of that today. How key have they been to setting the tone at the top of the order? One, two, three. They've really been driving the train here, even on the, on the road trip. You know, those guys. Ioki's just been on fire. It's been fun to watch. Um, he, he can he drive the other team crazy. It's the slap, and he always seems to find a hole. Um, and, and we're enjoying it right now, but. Really, really important to, to make the pitcher you know, work and extend himself with those guys. And then by the time he gets to the middle of our lineup, we're in pretty good shape. Miranda's 4-0 now in September uh, and, four, and four starts. What is it about him that that uh, gives him this you know, composure in the pennant race? No, well, I don't think he's really thinking about pennant race. I think right. he's trying to figure out a way to be a part of this team and contribute and, and do what he needs to do to create you know, future for himself. And mm -hmm. along the way, we're benefiting. So um, really, really happy for him. and. Uh, I think, you know, Zanino has, like I said, done a really good job with him, as Mel has, just like getting him to believe in his stuff and just trust it mm -hmm. and confidence. And it's, you can see it growing, and it's, it's fun to watch. He doesn't seem pretty fearless. Because the guys out there, you know, no doubt. Um, he's, he believes in himself. I think that's half the battle. Um, you know, at this level, you have to believe you belong and that you can contribute on a winning team, and that's what he's doing right now. Adam Lynn seemed to knock the rust off uh, quickly. Did you talk to him throughout the game and ask if everything was feeling good? No, no. You have to leave Lindo alone. He's in his own little world. Uh, but you know, he, he's, he's squared up a uh, base hit <coughs> off the left hander. Uh, I think the the Fister 68 mile hour curveball was not Adam Lynn's friend. But it, it, whether he has a good finger or not, it's usually not his friend. Uh, so he was joked about that. So uh, nice to see him get out there. We need him. Need his presence in the lineup and, and get that back going.